to Being Brainy, brought to you by Brain Research New Zealand. My name's Sophie, and I'm a student at the University of Otago in Dunedin, where I study neuroscience. A neuroscientist's job is to do research about the brain to figure out how it works when it is healthy, and also when it becomes unhealthy or sick. I work with a group of neuroscience researchers, and today I'm going to tell you a bit about the research that we do to help people with a disease called Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a type of brain disease that some people might get as they get older. And we call it a memory disease because the part of the brain that makes your memories stops working properly. This can make the person with Alzheimer's disease very forgetful. For example, they might forget little things like where they left their keys or their glasses, or they can forget really important things like if they leave their house to go for a walk, they might forget where their house is and how to get home. This is very scary for the person with Alzheimer's disease and for their families. So we want to try and cure this disease. Not everybody gets Alzheimer's disease. So part of our research is trying to figure out why some people get it and other people don't. Another part of our research is making treatments for the brain that we hope will help people with Alzheimer's get better. This is what I'm gonna tell you a bit more about. This is Grandpa. Recently, Grandpa has been getting forgetful and his doctor thinks that he might have Alzheimer's disease. Neuroscientists take a closer look inside the brain to help treat diseases. So let's have a look and see what's going on in Grandpa's brain. This picture here is showing the way your brain looks if you cut it down the front. On the left side, this is what a healthy brain looks like. So this is what your brain will look like. And it's showing one important part of the brain for Alzheimer's disease the hippocampus. Scientists think that the hippocampus is an important part of the brain for making memories. The right side of the picture is showing what a brain looks like in a person that has Alzheimer's disease. You can see the whole brain is looking smaller, like it's shrunk around the edges here. And this big hole here is where the hippocampus used to be. The hole is there because the brain cells that make up the hippocampus have gotten sick and died. And we think that this is why people with Alzheimer's disease have trouble remembering things. So if we want to help people with Alzheimer's disease by stopping those brain cells in the hippocampus from dying, we first need to know what's actually happening inside the brain cells to make them die. Can you imagine what would happen in your neighborhood if the rubbish truck stopped picking up your rubbish bin? Lots of smelly rubbish would build up and it might make you sick by having all the rubbish lying around. Did you know that your brain cells actually have things inside them that are kind of like rubbish trucks that clean up your brain's rubbish? So sometimes in the brain, the rubbish trucks stop working and so the brain fills up with rubbish. This can make the brain cells get sick and die and this is what causes Alzheimer's disease. This picture here is showing what a brain cell or a neuron looks like. And you can see here, this neuron is filled up with rubbish. And because you have lots and lots of neurons in your whole brain, if lots of the rubbish trucks stop working, the whole brain kind of fills up with rubbish. So now we know why the brain cells are dying. Our next job as neuroscientists is to figure out what can be done to fix the brain cells that are filled with rubbish. We need to find a way to help the brain cells tidy up their rubbish. So you can see here in the top picture, we have an unhealthy brain cell. It has a broken down rubbish truck and there's lots of this nasty rubbish building up, making the cell unhealthy. But we can help these neurons by fixing the broken rubbish trucks so they can start cleaning the brain's rubbish again. And this is what we're showing in the bottom picture. So we have nice functioning rubbish trucks that are clearing up the brain's rubbish. And once that rubbish is gone, the cells can work properly again and they are healthy. So how are the neuroscientists in my lab going to try and help these brain cells get their rubbish trucks working again? Well, in my lab, we do experiments to help the brain get tidy and stay tidy. We invent treatments that let the sick brain cells fix their own rubbish trucks and so they become healthy cells again and then we have a nice healthy brain. We hope that one day doctors will be able to use our treatments to help people who have sick brain cells in their brain when they have Alzheimer's disease.